subscribe, leave a like, and click that bell icon. Hey and welcome back to another Sparta X Tech video. Today I'm going to quickly go over how to turn a sensor panel inspiration into a blueprint to work off of and ultimately create a functional IDA 64 sensor panel from it. It is super easy, so just follow along. The first thing I did was figure out what sort of data I want to display on the sensor panel. Using Notepad, I listed out the various different data. Under CPU, I want to display the temperature, clock speed, CPU usage or load as a percentage, and the fan speed. For the GPU, I want temperature, clock speed, VRAM usage amount, usage or load as a percentage, and fan speed. As for system memory, I want the RAM usage amount and temperature. For the storage data, you can have percentage used, gigabyte of used and free space, and temperature. This can be done for each of the drives you have in your computer. Power consumption will consist of current CPU and or GPU power draw measured in watts. You can also track your network's upload and or download speeds. And of course, everyone's favorite, you can track the current in-game FPS number. This will require Riva Tuner to be installed. Those are just some of the data I want track, but IDA64 has many more. I won't end up tracking every single data points mentioned and you are welcome to track any or all of them per your preference. It may be worthwhile to go into IDA64 sensor panel management and explore all of the data points that are available for your specific setup. If you haven't already noticed, I had the NZXT cam software monitoring interface up the whole time. I like the clean look of the cam software and I was inspired by the circular gauges and bars. Let's take a look at the sensor panel I created. The sensor panel is made up of a background image and optional theme image. You can add as many images as you like to make your design unique. Besides the overall theme, you have the various gauges whether they're circular or bars. You also have graphs and real-time data display. I will go over in detail how to make your own custom circular, horizontal bar, and vertical bar gauges in the next part of this tutorial. Let me quickly show you how you can graph a dashboard design idea online and use it to create a blueprint. After searching for dashboard design ideas, I found a design that I like. I copied the image into Photoshop for editing. My sensor panel's dimensions are 1280 by 800, but another popular sensor panel dimension is 1280 by 400. You can make your design any dimension you wish, but I find that using the display's resolution is best. The sensor panel will fill out the entire display. Basically, I will start cutting out parts of the design in an attempt to rearrange them within my own canvas. As I'm doing this, I'm also keeping in mind what I will use each of these pieces for. For example, the circular gauges could be for CPU and GPU loads. Let's resize and align these a little better. There we go. The graph piece can be used for displaying the power draw in real time. This right here looks like it would work well for displaying the network upload and download speeds. And I think this bar piece can be for the storage drive's usage info. This one could work well as a vertical graph of the current in-game FPS. As the FPS changes, the bar can go up and down. You might be able to even overlay a FPS line graph over top as a bonus. Just experiment with the design. Let's duplicate this horizontal bar a couple of times for when you have multiple storage drives and want to display the data for them. Okay, now that I have a general layout, I'm going to rename these image layers so I can better track what they are for while I'm working on the blueprint. You can do this by double clicking on the current layer name and then entering a new name. Now, I'm going to create a foreground mask for each of these boxes to hide the content inside. Basically, for now I just want the containing box and not the gauges and data that is there. I'm doing this by creating rectangular shapes with the same color as the container's background. If you know a better way to do this then feel free to do it your own way. Now 
Once you're all done with the layout, you will need to export or save the image. It will be used as the background for your sensor panel. With the IDA64 software opened, let's click on File and then Preferences. Make sure the Sensor Panel tab is selected. Put in the dimension for your sensor panel, check off Show Sensor Panel option, Apply and then OK. This will bring up the sensor panel. You may need to delete the content in the new sensor panel if there are any. Now right click on the sensor panel and select Sensor Panel Manager. Click on New to add a new object to the sensor panel. Select Image from the Item Type menu and then locate the layout previously saved. From here you can start adding other static items to your layout such as labels for each container. You can also add other images for icons. You can use the arrows located in the Sensor Panel Manager to move your item around to align it how you like. Now that you've got a good idea on how to create a blueprint for your sensor panel, let's go back to the design that I was working on for my sensor panel. As you can see, you can get very creative with your own design. Add themed images and awesome abstract background art to make your design stand out. Thank you so much for watching. I will cover, in detail, how to make your own custom gauges in the next video. Don't miss any of our content, so subscribe, leave a like, and click that bell icon.